Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. When God entered into covenant with Abraham, he said to Abraham, you know what? I will bring your seed to inherit this place after 400 years. It was five different sacrifices on the altar that Abraham was commanded to offer. God demanded it. And when the blood began to flow, the Bible said, and God entered into covenant. They didn't know that what kept them in Egypt, what even made them slaves was covenant. Now, 400 years is not 400 days. It's not 40 years. So those who knew the story have all died, gone. That is the challenge we are facing. The challenge we are facing is that we are being confronted with issues we have no idea of. They didn't know. Moses didn't know. So Moses came with power, mystery. Now, this problem is a transferred problem. They were not the one that created it. The person that created it had long died. Abraham had gone. So a new generation came. And now Moses was filled with power. Moses' rod had turned into, into snake and turned back into a rod. He came to Pharaoh and said, let my people go. He said, what's your evidence? He said, watch me. He threw the rod. The rod became serpent. Uh, the magician says, that's what you brought. We too, we have rods. They threw their rods. Moses' rods swallowed their rods. What brought the people into bondage was not power. What brought them into bondage was covenant. Is anybody listening to me here? I'm talking about transferred mystery. Moses came and commanded darkness to fill a whole Egypt. Pharaoh didn't change his mind. Moses caused frogs to fill everywhere in Egypt. Pharaoh did not change his mind. Moses caused flies to fill Egypt. Pharaoh didn't change his mind. The vegetations and the animals died in Egypt. Pharaoh didn't change his mind. Nine signs and wonders, minus that, the, plus the, 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 the one that turned into a snake, making ten signs and wonders. Pharaoh wasn't moved. Genesis chapter 11. Sorry, Exodus. Look at the word God. And the Lord said unto Moses, Yet will I bring one plague. Somebody say one more. <laughs> upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt, afterwards he will let you go. Hence, when he shall let you go, he shall surely thrust you out thence altogether. God, 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 God came and discovered that Moses didn't know. A child of God. The Bible is the word of God and has all answers to all mysteries. It is when we have not decoded it. When we read it like literature and do not seek for revelation and do not seek for insight. That it is possible a man is praying seven days every day. 
and wouldn't, do, wouldn't be able to have a breakthrough. I told you of a story some years ago. The man that was bringing me up, he married after 40-something years. He engaged a particular girl. I went to see the girl myself. When we were getting worried, me, I had married. We were getting worried. He was engaged with the girl for five good years. I'm coming. We will soon. Very soon. Very, very soon. We will get married. He doesn't know why. Doesn't know why he cannot summon up courage to go and marry. He, was, he has a good job. He was earning salary. He was just procrastinating until he was 40-something. And when, you know when this thing is working, you don't see anymore. Some people told him that what is troubling him and keeping him unmarried is within his house. And this is a man that I know. The greatest fear we used to have when he visits me is that when we pray from 11 to 5 in the morning, that day no sleep. The man eats prayer. He eats prayer, swallow prayer, and live in prayer. So he doesn't believe what anybody is. If God needs to show, and this is a man he sees. But he didn't see his own. Lift your right hand and say, Lord, Lord, open my inner eyes to see me. Because that's what Jesus said. Why are you troubling with your brother that has one small thing in the eye? Meanwhile, one agbegi lodo, there your eye. One big wood, there your eye. You don't see it. You only see people's problem. I think this one has marine spirit. I think this one has witchcraft spirit. But you are now chief of witchcraft. He didn't see it. They came to another person, brought a revelation. We saw that your mother is responsible. Ah, he got angry. Can my mother be responsible? Meanwhile, years we are passing. Years we are passing. Until one day, somebody say one day. His junior brother was passing by and saw the mother. The mother brought a big snail, live snail, from under the bed. And the mother was talking to the snail that he will not get married and put the snail back. The brother, small brother, watched and was shocked and went to tell him. He didn't believe. The, the brother said, if you think I'm lying, go to mama's room. Tell her to bring the snail under the bed. And that was how he summoned her courage and went to the mother's room. This is the mother that he, he loves the mother beyond anything. Everything he was laboring for the mother. And one of these great, if I marry now, I don't want anybody to break me and my mother. Mama boy, mama's boy. At 40 something, you're still mama's boy. Some of you, that's why your marriage is suffering. Because it's only what mother said. Ah, my mother who trained me. Would he not have trained you before? My mother, my mother, my mother. Everything she said, you will obey. And the thing is breaking your home. Dividing you and the person you say I love. See you, how you are looking at me. Even you, the young lady, that, my mother, my mother. I must see my mother. I have to see my mother. I will go and see my mother. My mother said I should come. My mother said, if you don't break this soul tie between you and your mother, it will break your marriage. It's not a cause. Well, you can't stay in the house. My mother said, my mother said, he says, you go to the market, I should go to this place, I should go to that place, I should go and buy this one, I should go and buy this one. Does your mother not know you are married? You have to take care of your own home. He went to the mother and said, Mama, I want you to bend down, bring that snail under the bed. 
The mother said, he said, Mama, bring the snail. Mama, you know if I pray, you will die. That was how the mother brought the snail. He said, so Mama, what did I do you? That you kept me like a snail. Over the years, what crime did I commit? The mother began to beg. That was how he now gathered people to go and marry the lady who has been engaged for five years. He took some friends so that they can go and, you know, reactivate. Only for them to get there. That was the day they were paying the bride price of the young lady. He returned with his hand on his head. Who do me this? Mama delayed him. Now, I'm giving you that testimony because he didn't know what was wrong. Moses didn't know what was wrong. God said, I have one more weapon. And what was the weapon? He said, tell the children of Israel to sacrifice the lamb. He said, let them put the blood on the lintel and on the doorpost. When I see the, what? the blood, I will break this delay. Why? Why? What brought them into bondage was by blood. It was the blood of five sacrifices that God saw. And the Bible said, and God came down and made a covenant with Abraham. They didn't know. The thing was transferred from Abraham to them and had followed them. And that thing kept them another 30 years. Who am I talking to this morning? What is keeping you? I'm going to leave you in just one single prayer. Do you know when they sacrifice, you say, when I see the blood, I remember my covenant with Abraham. I promised Abraham after 400 years. But you people didn't know. So when I see the blood, I will pass over. If they do it this night, by tomorrow morning, bondage in Egypt will be over. And ladies and gentlemen, they did it that night. Bondage in Egypt was over. But I need to point something here. It was transferred through the blood. I need you to pray. There is something wrong with you. There is something that you don't know where it's coming from. You are accusing the enemy. But I just need you to do. There is something that occurred in the womb that came through the bloodline. Stand to your feet. Here is power mighty in that blood. There is power mighty in that blood. There is power mighty in that blood of Jesus Christ there is power mighty can, can you can you can you sing it can, can you sing it there is power Mighty in the blood, there is power. Mighty in the blood, in the blood, there is power. Jesus 
says my people are destroyed for lack of what my people are destroyed access to success is possible Thank you.